Hello again. So you might recognize this from Quiz 1. Uh, if you haven't watched it yet, I have a video key up for Quiz 1. It's longish, but uh, it'll take you through it. Here I thought it might be interesting. So here's the, the molecule from number 3, the cyclohexane from number 3 that I asked you to draw a chair for. Here's the chair I drew in that video. And I said in the video that you hadn't done absolute configuration yet, RNS. We hadn't talked about enantiomers or chiral carbons or chiral molecules. This molecule is chiral. It's non-superimposable with its mirror image. Go ahead and draw its mirror image. Uh, try that out. The other way to draw an enantiomer is to just switch both. Uh, you, know, you, can, you can either draw the mirror image or you can just switch the configuration of both carbons. Okay, so the black cyclohexane is now the enantiomer of the red cyclohexane that I drew originally. I thought it might be fun to see if I correctly drew the right cyclohexane. So anytime you do this, when you do the chairs, one thing you really want to watch is that it's very easy to draw the enantiomer of the chair. So if the, if the cyclohexane is chiral, then it's really easy when you go to draw the chair to draw the enantiomer. So okay, so here's, here's the enantiomer. Uh, here's the original. Here's the chair I drew. I'm going to erase the enantiomer now. And here's how you figure that out. You have to go in and figure out R and S on the two chiral atoms, or any of the chiral atoms. And so again, right, we have an H going back here. So that's easy enough to figure out. Let's do priorities. So carbon, car sorry, carbon, carbon, and carbon. I may yet have left out information. So the two chiral atoms we have are those, the start ones. And so I'm doing the chirality, the absolute configuration of the carbon with the isopropyl group. You go one atom at a time, H, C, C, C. H is obviously the low priority group, four. Carbon, carbon, and carbon all tie. So then what are they bonded to? H, H, C there, H, H, C there. And this one is bonded to H, C, C. Okay, HHC, HHC still tie, but HCC wins. So that's priority group one. So now you just go one more. So this carbon, each of these is bonded to a carbon. You can't go past the hydrogen, obviously. So this carbon then is bonded to an H, an H, and a C. This carbon is bonded to an H, right? There's an H coming off here, a C, and an O. Okay, so HCO beats HHC, this becomes priority group two, and this becomes priority group three. Incidentally, a lot of you, uh, when you first start doing this, will want to just glance at the molecule. There's an oxygen going this way, so oxygen's heavier than all the other atoms. And so you would want to say this group is priority group one. Make sure you go one group at a time. All right, it's like a tournament. You can't look ahead and see the higher seeded team and just assume you'll lose. You have to play one game at a time. So as we, sorry about that. As you go around the ring, as we go around the ring, don't worry about this oxygen until you actually get to it. Okay, so with that H away, the priority group four is away. You can just draw your circle. One to two to three, that's a clockwise circle. So this chiral center is R. Okay, so let's go over to the chair. And again, your priorities are gonna stay the same, so you don't have to redo those. So the isopropyl is one, the bit going around to the alcohol winds up being two, and this one is three. And again, the H is exactly sideways. So you can't you can't draw you can't draw a circle at this point, because it doesn't go around that H. You have to imagine looking at it from that direction. And if you do, right, so the H is behind this carbon. The, the circle, the green circle here is the green dot carbon. Um, and the H is behind it. So I've got one is up, and then if I'm over there, two comes down to the side, three comes out toward us. Remember, two is behind three. And now that is a clockwise circle. And so indeed, I got that right, that's an R. And here's the thing, I'm gonna go through it, but if I got that carbon right, that's R, it's R there as well, then this carbon, if I, if, so they're trans, well, it's not true. Actually, I think you have to check it. I'm pretty sure I got it right, but let's check it. 
So go ahead, get this written down. If you want to see how to do that, I'm going to erase this so I can start fresh on uh, the second chiral carbon. I'll give you a second to pause it. Okay. Go ahead and put your, I'm going to draw in now the wedged, the H that's coming out at us. Now do priorities. So again, this is the chiral carbon we're considering. Oxygen, carbon, carbon, H. Oxygen is clearly number one. H is clearly number four. Carbon and carbon tie. What are they bonded to? H, H, C, right? Two H's and a carbon. Two H's and a carbon. So H, H, C. They tie again. So go to the next one. This carbon, now we're, not, we're now comparing that carbon and that carbon. That's an H, an H and a C. This is an H, one H there, and two C's. So HCC beats HCC, HHC. So one, four, this is two, and this is three. All right, so unfortunately, the low priority group is sticking out at you. So you can't simply uh, just draw your circle. What you can do, and what I tend to do, go one to two to three, draw that circle, see how the rotate rotation goes, and note that carbon, the, not carbon, but group four, low priority group four is sticking out at you. So this is a counterclockwise circle, but you have to take the opposite because the low priority group is out at us. The definition, the standard of conning goal prelog is the priority group four is away. So if it's at towards you, you have backwards. So counterclockwise, but because we're doing the reverse, this winds up being R. Okay, so come over here, priorities again. Let me erase the priority, we, the stuff we did from the first one. I'll leave up that, that carbon is R. Okay, so now we're doing this carbon, right? The OH is going back away. This one's coming out toward us. That one's sort of in the plane. So if we look at that dotted carbon, so we're sort of looking, we're looking underneath at it. And so uh, I am, yeah, the H is away. <laughs> so OH is gonna be, no, OH would be down, sorry. So this group, so let's do priorities. One, two, three, one, two, three. So as I go around that way, I've now got the H in the back. This is now a clockwise circle. So yeah, that's R as well. So I got it right, R and R. And when you check that, if the absolute configuration, this is the beauty of the absolute configuration, is that it's sort of, it's, it's, it's an absolute. So you don't have to know anything else. You don't have to compare anything else. If this carbon's R and that carbon's R and this carbon's R and that carbon's R and they're all connected the same, they're the same molecule, even if it's really hard to see. All right, there are other videos where I'm gonna do R and S on simpler molecules, but I just wanted to sort of get this out of the way and see if I'd drawn the right chair. And I did, good for me. Uh, you can see it was kind of a dicey thing. So, all right, take care.